Hey, it's Steve. In this video, we'll take a quick look at where things are at with a 2x4 foot and scale layout project. Okay, so here's an overview of where things are at with the 2x4 foot and scale layout project. And you can see I finally have all the structures roughly assembled. So with the exception of the town buildings up on top, where I only modified, I think, two of them, everything else is kit bashed in one way or another. So overall, I have all these structures now roughly assembled and put in place. And the reason why I had to get everything assembled first in this kind of half-built state was so I could figure out exactly how all the roadways were going to work, and I could work on getting those uh, bases installed and, and everything else kind of finished up for the structure placement once I have all of them done. So looking closer at this segment here, this will all be basically paved road area here through this middle section kind of curving through here. Now often in the past I've used things like plaster for the roadway materials, but I can't do that on this layout because this whole top half of the layout does lift up and the opening and closing of the lid would pretty much crack any plaster surface I had on the layout. And so this will all be built out of solid materials. So I'll likely use MDF for most of the roadway and structure base areas. And then for all the grade crossings, I'll likely use styrene since that will be a lot easier to work with. But at any rate, having a solid surface for the roadways is going to be critical on this layout to prevent damage over time. So now let's focus on the town area here. Okay, so I went through a lot of iterations here trying to figure out how I wanted to do these structures. Initially, I thought I was just going to have like a row on top and then a row on the bottom along this wall here with, with the road kind of going through here. But I didn't really like that. It was kind of, I don't know, boring looking to me. And so I decided to go ahead and have the road curve around from the bottom up to the top level like this. And so I cut some of my insulation foam board, produced that rough you know, elevation change there with the road, and then cut the bases here to sort of fit the structures that I plan to have here in the front. And then I'll have you know some stairs and kind of a ramp down and more stairs for like the sidewalk area to get to this lower level up here. And then I'll have my main street up here on top. I'll have another just wall here on this back side here to kind of give the impression that the town buildings keep going on beyond that point there. And you've probably noticed that I like to have these curving roads that go from one level to another on a lot of my layout projects. And the reason for that is just because, you know, visually, anytime you have a curving road that's changing in elevation and everything, it just draws your eye along it. So you can kind of use it to help tell a story with everything in, in terms of when the viewer looks at your layout, how the eye moves through it and everything. So that's kind of the idea here. It, it'll just be a more visually interesting area to look at. And one thing with this top area, since it is removable, I can put everything on the workbench and work on it that way. But also that gave me the idea that I could just make this a fully self-contained layout by itself. That could be taken off, put on an end table, a desk, and just run that way. And so everything will be battery powered. I'll have controls built in maybe to the rooftops of the back structures in the back there. I'll be able to take that off. I'll have feet on the bottom. I can put that somewhere else. And then I'll have a module to put on top. That'll be like a forested hill. Just a very easy thing to, you know, kind of plop on there. But anyway, I think that should be a fun idea is to have a modular top section there that you can kind of swap out and change up the look of the layout. So anyway, that's just a look at the current status of a two by four foot layout project. I spent a lot of time getting these structures built up here. So that's been the primary focus. But now that I have them, I'll be moving on again to doing the roads doing some of the scenery, and then obviously a lot of painting and finishing of all these structures. But anyway, that's all for now, and thanks for watching. Bye.